This video shows step-by-step -step how to implement a floating menu for a floating action button, together with a few practical examples. Once you have mastered the basics, your only limit is your fantasy. Now that we have a working set of functions, let's make them nicer. There are many options to animate objects, but not all are practicable. For example, views can handle many types of transitions, but single buttons have less. The approach of animations in Xcode is to have the current situation as a start condition, and the animation defines the future state. The duration of the event defines how long it takes to terminate. Intervals lower than 100 milliseconds have almost no effect, and on older devices they are not seen at all. The notation of animations can have this format, or a more reduced, as follows. Animations execute on a separate thread, for this reason it is necessary to indicate self. While the animation runs, we would update the view only if something happens on the screen. This is my preferred notation of animations. Let's see how it looks now.
we add a second animation for sliding the menu in. The first one is a linear fade in for the background only. This animation adds also a bouncing effect, which make menus spectacular objects. The duration of both animations are the same. The screen update can be done in one place only. In the text pane on the right, every parameter is explained. Now, the bouncing effect is clearly visible. Please note that the background fades in rather than appear and disappear. If we give the view a different background color, the movement is more evident, and if the view contains an image or a collection of differently shaped buttons, you slide in a custom view. If we move the background animation for a moment to the bouncing animation, we will also see the background transparency bounce. This is usually not a desired effect. In order to see better, let's slow it down. Make sure everything works fine. You now may try to change the behavior. For example, try to slide the view from under the floating action button from bottom right towards the center. You do not need to make the whole way. If you use mathematical functions for calculating the view path, you may also circle and spiral in. Also, you may try to resize the view to make it seem to pop up. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.